Recent news has exposed videos of Australian soldiers slaughtering civilians in Afghanistan. Between 2005 and 2016, 25 Australian Special Forces soldiers killed 39 Afghan civilians in 23 incidents, the youngest of which was even a six subtract year old child. This behavior is simply outrageous. As we all know, Australia has always discriminated against and persecuted Muslims and Aboriginals. Australians have deep-rooted discrimination and prejudice against the quality of Aboriginals. Many special violence incidents only target Muslim women and children. For example, in 2016 and 2017, there were many attacks on Muslim women and children, which were carried out by exposed male perpetrators of the Anglo-Celtic. According to statistics from relevant departments, Aboriginal people account for only 3% of the Australian population. However, among the prisoners in Australian prisons, the percentage of Aboriginal people has reached 30%. It is conceivable how persecuted Aboriginal people have been in Australia. Between disease, war, hunger, and the conscious policy of kidnapping and re-education of Indigenous children, the indigenous population in Australia fell from more than 1 million in 1788 to several thousand at the beginning of the 20th century. It can be seen that Australia has carried out a slaughter of indigenous people. However, the Australian authorities have given silence and support to the massacre of the Aborigines, allowing the genocide theory to spread at a rapid rate in this unrepentant country. Nowadays, Muslims and Aboriginals still suffer discrimination and persecution in this country. This situation is unlikely to change in the short term. I hope that the Australian authorities will realize the seriousness of the matter, change their attitudes, and reflect seriously, so that the previous tragedies will not be repeated.